Okay, hi there everybody. Another, another CPE writing, this is a proficiency one. Um, CPE writing part two, set text, The Accidental Tourist by Anne Tyler. Write a letter to the editor of a literary magazine discussing unconventional lifestyles in mo modern literature as seen in a book you have read. So, Unconventional Lifestyles. This letter was written by Roland Simon. Dear Editor, I'm writing in response to your article about unconventional lifestyles in modern literature. I'm going to write about a novel. I think the novel, because it's a specific one. The novel, The Accidental Tourist by Anne Tyler describing the Leary household and comparing I think okay I, I think I would do make a relative clause here I'm going to write I'm writing in response to your article about unconventional lifestyles in modern literature I'm going to write about the novel The Accidental Tourist by Anne Tyler, which describes the Leary household and whoops and compares it with Muriel's home in Singleton Street. The story takes place in the USA. Baltimore. So I think I would do this the other way around. Takes place in Baltimore, USA. Like that. And there's that extra comma. The protagonist, good word, is Macon Leary, who lives alone with his mischievous and funny dog. who lives alone with his mischievous and funny dog, Edward. Okay. Mischievous and funny dog. More information, Edward. In an impressive house in a middle-class neighbourhood. In an impressive house, I'd lose this comma. Okay, the protagonist is Macon Leary, who lives alone with his mischievous and funny dog, Edward, in an impressive house in a middle-class neighbourhood. He and his wife, Sarah, are devastated by the heaviest loss. Heaviest. By the most grievous uh, e I V O U S. <laughs> their son died, their son Ethan, by the most grievous loss. Their son Ethan died in a restaurant shooting. He makes a living by writing guidebooks for business travellers. Like their readers. Okay. Like their readers. Travel is the thing for, for Macon to abhor the most. Huh. So, like their readers. Travel is the thing that Macon abhors the most. Uh, guidebooks. Um, I think maybe just add a, a, an adverb exactly like exactly like Travel guide 
readers are um, so that then gives us a, a, a tr exactly like guy the guide uh, exactly like guide book readers um, travel is the thing that Macon abhors most good word Ethan's absent permeate uh, absence permeates his everyday life and makes matters worse ah uh, okay and no and to make matters worse and to make matters worse uh, permitted and to make matters work worse Sarah has walked out of his life after her wife's his wife's departure he comes up with numerous unusual systems of organization in order to manage the household chores Edward is doing funny things and often bites. Uh. One day he hires a dog trainer, Muriel Pritch Pritchard, to, un to tame his unruly pet. Edward is doing so. Is starts doing fun funny things and often bites. Then let's put a semicolon here and often bites. So one day he hires a dog trainer, Muriel Pritchard, comma, to tame his unruly pet. Okay, so notice by putting the semicolon here we've ad added some cohesion. Yeah, and when you want to add a bit of information like that, something non-defining, -defi comma, comma, okay? Not only does this, I love that, it's good grammar, <laughs> this novel provide a source of entertainment for the readers, but it also reveals the power of love. Macon, the travel scribbler, who loathes any kind of journey, Muriel, okay, who loves any kind of, uh, and Muriel, the animal trainer, who's never been fond of animals at all. So Mac on the trainer, yeah. Muriel. So Mac on the travel scribbler, who loves any kind of journey. And Muriel, Mar Muriel, the animal trainer, who has never been fond of animals at all. And then just add, ah, two odd characters gradually falling in love. So let's see. Mac on the travel scribbler who loathes any kind of journey. I'm going to take out that comma. Uh, and Muriel, the animal trainer, who has never been very fond, been fond of animals at all, are two odd characters gradually falling in love with each other. I like the way you're trying to lengthen your sentences. Yeah? Okay, and notice in this, I've just added an and and an are, nothing more. While Macken is ref reclusive, reticent and organized. Muriel is ebullient, talkative and disorganized. The woman has an eccentric sartorial style. She lives in the poor area of the city in Singleton Street. Uh, the, the, the woman has an eccentric sartorial style and she lives in the poor area of, of the city, in Singleton Street. So, probably better like that. And she lives in Singleton Street. 
comma, a poor area of the city. The Tatmakon decides to move to Muriel's tawdry tiny house and they turn over a new leaf. The, n the local people of this area, I think in would sound better, the local people in this area find it difficult to, to make ends meet. So, what is this related to? This sort of hangs in the middle. Yeah, th th this gives it a lack of cohesion. What is this relevant to? Although he considers the surroundings as a foreign territory, love helps him to adapt to the circumstances. Okay, so let's see. Let's just try linking this now. This is an area where most locals find it difficult to make ends meet. So this this is better because this it's giving you a description of uh, Singleton Street, a poor area of the city. Although he considers the surroundings the surroundings as as a foreign territory, probably better as foreign territory, but a foreign territory would work. Love's help it, love helps him to adapt to the circumstances. In conclusion, I'm absolutely convinced that the accidental tourist is a bittersweet amalgam, great phrases, bittersweet amalgam, of comedy, tragedy, comedy, tragedy, of comic tragedy and a love story which is able to showcase a repertoire of extravagant lifestyles. And I had good words in this bit. Best regards, Roland. Okay, so do you answer the question? Yeah, you answer the question quite well. Unconventional lifestyles. Uh, I quite I quite like this. You might want to say a little a little bit more about their how their lifestyles are unconventional. I know this bit of um, about moving to a poor area. Maybe a couple a couple more details talking about the unconventionality of what they're doing. Um, so does it answer the question? 3.75 out of 5. How well does it read? How cohesive is it? This is actually, it reads quite well. I don't have great problems with it. I'm going to give it for most of the changes I've made are to give it added cohesion. So four again. Um, so select, se se selection of grammar used. How adventurous is it? Okay, you're starting really to try and make nice big sentences. Um, and they 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 hold together quite well without mistakes, yeah. Um, relative clauses they really help your writing. I think I'm going to give it and there's a not only as well a 4.5. Uh, I quite li quite like the your attempts at lengthening the sentences. Um, how adventurous is the vocabulary? Very adventurous as always. I think 4.5 and then little mistakes you've got you've thi this has got a lot better um, you've made far less mistakes than you normally do I think maybe 3.75 something like that I think this is this this is definitely an overall 8 which is definitely an a good A at CPE so well done again